Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 5 assignment of cloud computing course. Guys, hope everyone is fine. So let us start this video. So friends, I hope every solution is 100% correct. But if you want to suggest me any other changes, you can please ask me in the comment section. So I will try to give the best final concluding answer to the uh, viewers. So I think every question is almost 100% correct. So guys please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip you may miss some valuable content or if I change or modify any solution you may miss that. So do watch the video till the end. So moving on to the first question. Dash is a formal contract between a service provider and a service consumer. So the correct answer for first question is option A that is service level agreement SLA so mark option A and moving on to the second question if demand is exponential any fixed provisioning interval according to the current demands will fall linearly behind so the statement is 100% false because here the demand will fall exponentially but not linearly but they give linearly here so it is false statement so mark option b and moving on to the third one third question so they gave that a third party application runs cloud for 18 hours a day at the end of one month here one month we take 30 days as one month so it was found the outage is 5 hours and t hours it means combinedly we can say that the outage 5 plus t hours 5 plus t hours and the availability 98 percent and they are asking uh, the negotiation does not get dishonored guys uh, the meaning of this uh, i mean the meaning of honored is to satisfy here does not get satisfied means i think that it, the meaning will be the percentage should be less than 98 then it will come under to get dis uh, to get honored does not get honored so if that is the meaning then i will show you the equation uh, equation that i have got I mean uh, the expression I have got 530 minus 2t divided by 535 minus t into 100. So if you put 4 and 5 values in, the, in place of t, we will get the percentage more than 98 and if you put 6 and 8 hours in place of t you will get 97 point something like that it means less than 98 so i think this will be the case that they mentioned not getting honored it means not satisfying so i think the answer will be option c and option d guys if you uh, having any doubt or if you or suggest any other answer you can do that in the comment section so i think uh, mostly c and d will be the answers for this question so because when we use only c and d then we will get the percentage less than 98 here they have uh, guaranteed that there is 98 percent the first two give us more than 98 and the last two will not give 98 it will give less than 98 so it will not get honored so i think c and d is the answer and moving on to fourth question what is or are the correct statements regarding vm load management so for this there are three answers the first one is option a when load increases new vm should be scheduled to new nodes first option the next one is option c when load increases use wol to start up waiting nodes and the other one is option d when load decreases live migrate vms to more utilized nodes so mark 
A, C and D as the correct answers for fourth question. And moving on to fifth one. They have given two statements. The first statement in resource management, resource allocation is allocation of service providers resource resources to a customer. The first statement is up false and the second statement is true. So the correct answer for fifth question is option B. So mark option B as correct answer for fifth question. Moving on to the sixth one. Which of the following is or are resource allocation approaches in resource management? So for sixth question there are actually two solutions. The first one is option A intelligent multi-agent model and the other one is option C energy aware resource allocation. So mark option A and C as the correct answers for sixth question. Moving on to the seventh one. So consider the peak computing demand of an organization is 250 units. So P is equals 250 units. So demand function D of T equal to 5T and B is equals 120. C is equals 150. So the time period T time T units. So what are the value of T such that the cloud, cloud is cheaper than owning? So for cloud cheaper than owning, U should be less than P by A. So the final expression I have got to give you this answer is it will be like this T by A T should be less than 1 so that means T should be less than A T to get this cheaper than owning the condition I have got is T less than A T so in the given options the only option that is less than A T it is option a. So mark option A as correct answer for 7th question. Moving on to 8th question. Which of the following is or are objectives of resource management? So for 8th question, the correct answer is option B, scalability. And the other one is option C, improved throughput. So mark B and C as correct answers for 8th question. Guys, if you want to suggest me any correction in the solution, you can please do that. Uh, main, particularly for the numerical answers. And moving on to the ninth question. In computing, there is a non-linear relationship between number of processing cores used and power consumption. Guys, uh, actually in the given lectures, it is mentioned the number of processes. But here they have given number of processing cores. I hope both the meanings are similar because they have given a graph beside that mentioning the processing cores. So if both are the same, both uh, carry same meaning, then the solution for ninth question will be option A, true. So mark option A, uh, keeping in a view that both the meanings of processing course and the processes are same. Moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question. If demand is flat then the penalty will be linear. Actually what they have given is if the demand is flat the penalty will be zero but they, they have given linear. So then according to that the answer will be option B false. So mark option B as correct answer for 10th question. So friends, these are the solutions for week 5 cloud computing course. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. If you have any doubts or if you want to suggest me any changes, please ask me in the comment section. I will try to reply for the valid queries. So for further more videos like this and also videos regarding other courses, please keep supporting our channel. So until then, goodbye, thank you.